Republican Aaron Schock, the youngest member of the House. I sat down with Congressman Schock before his mother called him into dinner. Hi, Stephen Colbert. Nice Hi, to meet Mr. you. Hi, Mr. Colbert. Welcome. No nicknames? No nicknames. Shockman, Shockmeister. Anything like that? No. Shock Jock? I've also learned from TMZ that you have six pack abs. Is there any truth to that, Congressman? Well, um, it's a simple question, and I think your constituents deserve to know. Do you or do you not have six pack abs? Yes. Congressman, thank you for taking the time to shock and honor. Thank you. Congressman Aaron Schock, a Republican from Illinois, is the youngest member of Congress with a bright political future. He's a rising star in the Republican Party who's been winning elections for a very long time. Aaron Schock is used to being the youngest. At 19, the youngest school board member. My name is Aaron Schock. At 23, the youngest member of the Illinois State Legislature. And now at 27, the youngest member of Congress. The caucus of the 20-year-olds is very lonely. I'm the How only many? one. Are you the only? I'm the only one. The average age this year is 57. Most of them could be your parents. Or grandparents. For those interested, you can check him out on Facebook, Hobbies, Travel, and Adventure. You know, I've been skydiving. Why did you do that? Uh, because I wanted the experience. I think it's, uh, it was a, a blast. Yeah, you could be Burris probably, couldn't you? <laughs> Well, Chris, I'm not old enough. After I'm only, what happened I'm last only, week? I'm only 28. I'm not old enough to run for Senate. But, well, but that's, Chris, that's a hell that's of a situation. Really, that's really a You're going to have to wait two years, but yeah. go ahead. Well, this show is a free fire zone, so thank and, you, John. And Aaron Schrock will be running for president. Chris, can you imagine if you were that smart when you were 28 like he is? I lost when I ran for the House in 28. I'm jealous of this guy. I'll admit he can't, he can't be a senator from his state because he's not old enough. God, that's a pretty good deal. At age 27, he's the youngest member of the new Congress. Of course, being young and looking even younger does present problems, such as when Schock went to see President Obama address a joint session of Congress. The President of the United States. One of the guards who was not typically there kind of stopped and said, excuse me, and so I had to show him my member's pin and he apologized and I said, no problem. It's so, sort of like being carted at a bar. Right, then. yeah. But the congressman got a seat on the aisle to see all the dignitaries. I don't know what kind of opportunities there will be down the road for me. Um, in politics, you never know who's going to die. You never know who's going to retire. Uh, or in Illinois, you never know who's going to get indicted. Aaron Schock has made an impression. But how did someone so young make it so far, so fast? Good afternoon. How are you? At 19, Aaron Schock ran for the Peoria School Board and won as a write-in, defeating the incumbent school board president with 60% of the vote and receiving 6,406 write-in votes. After three years, his colleagues unanimously elected him school board president, making Aaron the youngest school board president in history. What's your name? He reached out to people. Hi, ladies. What can I help you with? How are you doing today? He fought for the kids. Oh, there you go. All right, come on in. All right, good job. Aaron ran for the Illinois House, defeating an eight-year incumbent in a 60% Democrat district. As a freshman, he passed 21 bills, all while he was in the minority. Aaron focused on the issues that mattered most to people, educating their children, helping agriculture, the number one employer, and working to save Illinois jobs. And even after four years in the Illinois legislature, Aaron never neglected the people back home. Now in Congress, he's making his mark. I'm Susanna Mendoza, state representative from Chicago and a Democrat. Aaron Schock is a pleasure to work with. He's one of the hardest working legislators in Springfield. He's the real deal. His victory was punctuated with the endorsement of over a hundred mayors, both Republicans and Democrats. How about a hug? Right. Aaron Schock's victory was historic, winning 39% of the African American vote. By actively engaging and representing all Americans, he has earned the respect and support of constituencies all across the political spectrum. Aaron Schock. Aaron Schock. Aaron Schock. Aaron Schock. Aaron Schock. Aaron. Aaron Schock. Aaron Schock was selected Deputy Whip. 
He asked for and won the right to serve on three committees instead of the traditional two. And Aaron was the first freshman to pass legislation in the 111th Congress. Schock was wooed aboard Air Force One by President Obama to support the stimulus package. Aaron's still trying to make up his mind about uh, our recovery package. He's a very talented young man. I've got great confidence in him to do the right thing for the people of Peoria. But Schock stuck by his principles and opposed it for being too much spending. I appreciated his hospitality and bringing me along on the trip and, and uh, you know, bringing me on his plane and all the accoutrements that go with it. But at the end of the day, my responsibility is to the people who gave me this job, my constituents. The gentleman from Illinois is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Shock was the only Republican freshman given time to speak against the stimulus. found it very interesting that after the president finished his speech and I stayed around, not one employee at that facility approached me and asked me to vote for this bill. In fact, I have received over 1,400 phone calls, emails, and letters from Caterpillar employees alone asking me to oppose this legislation. Why? Because they get it. They know that this bill is not stimulus. They know that this bill will not do anything to create long-term sustained economic growth. This bill is too big to get it wrong. I hail from a district that once had Everett Dirksen. Everett Dirksen once said a billion here, a billion there. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're now a trillion here, a trillion there. We cannot afford to get this wrong. It is too important to get it wrong. My district also had a man by the name of Abraham Lincoln who served in this seat for two years. We celebrated his 200th birth yesterday. I'm reminded of his quote, what kills a skunk is the publicity it brings itself. Perhaps that is the haste the is by which this bill is being brought Wisconsin. forward. I urge a no vote. As the only congressman in his 20s, this environmentally conscious young congressman has already won funds to help improve 4,400 acres along the Illinois River fulfilling one of his pledges to save the river. Now Congressman Schock has launched an initiative to promote new renewable green energy. And on foreign affairs, Schock took a leadership role to promote democracy by fighting for free and fair elections in Central America against Hugo Chavez. Aaron Schock is on the move. He is the future of the Republican Party, the only congressman in his 20s. Eric Cantor, the party's House elected whip, said shock is the role model for what our party needs to do to win back the voters we have lost in recent years. Now, please welcome the congressman from Abraham Lincoln's home district, Aaron Shock. Greetings, Ohio College Republicans. 2010 is a critical election year. Not only will America decide which of the 435 members of the U.S. House we keep and which ones we fire, but more importantly, the outcome of these races is critically important to the direction of the future of our country. In one short year, we have watched our country take over two of the three largest U.S. car manufacturers, the largest U.S. insurance company, and now attempts to overregulate the banking and financial markets all while creating a perpetual bailout fund. This, while our nation grapples with double-digit unemployment and more deficit spending under this president than the past 43 administrations combined. While this is cause for concern for every American, as young Americans under the age of 30, we have added incentive to become engaged. After all, it is our generation who will be living with the economic climate created by today's politics and it will be our generation who will be required to pay down these massive new debt obligations. I'm looking forward to discussing these issues and many more when I come to Ohio State's campus on Monday night, May 10th. Most importantly, we will be discussing ways that you can personally get involved in this year's elections in some of the nation's most critical races. I hope you'll join me on Ohio State's campus Monday night, May 10th. Together, we can affect the future today.